first guy there. So okay. George, George Martin turned me on to it, and then I turned Lawrence Taylor on to it. Wow. All right. So y'all, y'all use always, you know, in Patterson all the time? Like, you know, not just all the time. All, all the time. time. Um, God, Lawrence had more friends there than I did. But, mm-hmm. uh, but I, you know, I used to, I used to frequent, the, I used to definitely go to the beauty salon uh, once a week, if not sometimes twice a week. Uh, especially if I had something to do uh, publicly, I made sure that uh, I went there. I got freshened up, and uh, uh, if I had to give a speech or something, or uh, make a personal appearance or something of that nature, I made sure I got to know the whole Mitchell family. You know, all of his sisters, Connie, Penny, you know, Troy, you know, Mr. Mitchell himself, uh, his wife. You know, I knew the whole family, and uh, what a great group of people, man. Okay, so um, recently you got a, an award from Spike Lee. Talk about that. I got an award from, from Karen Kine in, in New York City, and I had my friend Spike Lee come in uh, to add some celebrity to it. Uh, we raised a million six hundred thousand dollars in one night for Alzheimer's, and okay. um. Uh, I think it's one of the things I'm the most proud of uh, when I look back on uh, humanity, humility, uh, my ability to reach and touch uh, all kinds of people, and uh, and the gift to give back um, to those that are in need. Um, I got a chance to meet two of the brightest minds in neurology, uh, Sheldon Jordan, who took care of Muhammad Ali for 25 years of his life in Los Angeles, California. And um, David Hyde Pierce, uh, one of the stars of the the TV show, Frasier, uh, talked about uh, uh, Alzheimer's and the effect it had on his father and his family. Um, uh, And people like that. So when you can do good things like that, you look back on like, pictures like, let me see if I can show you this. Um, When I look back on stuff like this, Rashad, this is is a perk from playing pro football. When you can, when you can work with people, when you can work with people that, uh, that make a difference in the lives of so many others. you know, when I look back on stuff like this, this is what makes me happy. It tickles my tickles my heart because, uh, you know, at some point in time in my life, somebody gave a damn about what happened to Leonard Marshall, a poor black kid who grew up on the bayou of Louisiana, who had a dream and had a vision and a passion for wanting to play a, 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 a kid's game for a king's ransom. So how many times in life does that happen to somebody? Mm-hmm. And how many times does it happen to somebody and they they not only recognize it, but they they take the gift and they give a portion of the gift back. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Take yeah. the gift, receive God's gift, but then anoint someone else with it. Yeah. Okay? So that's kind of like what we're doing right now. I'm looking to anoint you with my presence and hope that I help you to step to go where you want to go with this and, and be as successful as you can possibly be in life. And and hopefully you become, I don't know, the next Oprah Winfrey. Hopefully you become the next Bob Lee, the next whomever it might be. But that's the one thing that I think these young kids are missing today, Rashad. In this, in this, this whole new hip hop, I gotta have it now culture. I gotta have it now. I want it all now. Earn it, and you'll appreciate it more, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So that, if if people, when I sit back and I look, you know, at, at my life now in the rearview mirror, um, if I'm a young person, you know. Get to know what it was about. Get to know what my journey was like. Um, 
if you aspire to do this the way I did it, get to know about it. Become a historian. And uh, find out who walked in those shoes before you, because I know I did it. And that's what made me want to do it. And um, and you'll, you'll appreciate it more. You know, you really will appreciate it more, especially when you achieve the pinnacle. When you get to the top, you know, you, you'll appreciate it more and you'll know you earned it. You didn't, nobody handed it to you. You earned it. Okay, lastly, um, September 27th, I believe you're going to be inducted to the Ring of Honor when the Cowboys play the Giants. Talk about the reaction when uh, you got contacted by the Giants to be inducted to the Ring of Honor. Also, you think that's long overdue because a player like yourself should have been in the Ring of Honor, man. I think that's long overdue. But just talk about your reaction when you got the call. Hey, uh, when uh, you when I, got the yeah, when I when I got when I got the email um, from my friend who works in the alumni department um, because she was she was we were joking around and playing around with it, and I said to her, I said, Joanne, is this really real? And she says, Of, of course, Leonard. Yeah. And she wrote back, Congrats. Now, she's in Italy traveling on vacation. I had no idea. You know, I really had no idea. So when I heard about it, I said, oh, this is great for a number of reasons. One, Rashad, my father couldn't do what I did, okay? Uh, my father would have been 93 years old had he been alive today. So um, he, he could not, he could not have done, he could not have done this in his lifetime. And uh, um, it saddens my heart that he's not here to see this. Neither of my parents are here to see this. We could have did this 15, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, it would have it would have had a greater impact on me and my family. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm humbled, um, engaged, um, extremely happy. I'll be even happier when there's a public announcement of this ring of honor or this honor to be received from the New York Giants. Um, that will make my life in football everything I expected it to be. Um, I mean, um, is it everything to me? No. I think the greatest thing that, that, that happened to me was being inducted into the LSU Hall of Fame, being inducted into Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame with Shaquille O'Neal, Pistol Pete Maverick, Carl Malone, and all the greats that come from Louisiana. Terry Bradshaw, guys like that. Because those are guys I grew up watching play sports and they helped me to get to the level where I really wanted to make this a career. Uh, the New Jersey Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, that's another thing that I take a lot of um, uh, pride in because 40 years of my life have been in New Jersey, Rashad. You know, I'm a kid from Louisiana. Mm -hmm. this, I'm living a dream, baby. Yeah. So, uh, so that, that means a lot, but I don't want to discredit what this means to be honored by the New York Giants because an honor here I, I, I will accept and, and, and receive. I just wish it would have been 20 years ago. Yeah, definitely, man, because the great player that you was, man, you should definitely got your due. Others you know that played after you, I think Justin Tuck was in to the ring of honor. Correct, I think. Right. No, he's, he did his thing with the Giants, but you should have got that due way before him, you know. Right, right. I mean, you know, I, I, I hate to speak on his accomplishments and achievements, and I'm not speaking on it in a negative light, but I, I agree with you. I agree with you. There's several guys I feel like that. Uh, but you know what? That's something that the, 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 the powers that be and the decision makers have to, I guess, live with themselves about. Because... Uh, I'll share something with you when we get off this call that I think will blow your mind, but I'm going to share it with you when we get off this call. Okay. 
But thank you very much, man. I uh, I, I enjoyed our conversation. Uh, I wish you all the best. You know that. And um, uh, keep doing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. You know, continue interviewing good, strong men that uh, that can share something of significance with you that can help perpetuate your growth and your journey. Um, because that's what it's all about for us. I mean, uh, uh, we have to learn how to continue to give of ourselves, especially the young black people, uh, a piece of our lives if we think it can make a difference in theirs. And we have to give that, uh, how do I say this? We have to give that in a manner that is not um, you don't feel like it's charity because it's not charity. It, it's it's uh, uh, it's adoration. It's love. It's love for the color of your skin and the journey you're about to endure. So, and and I respect that and I appreciate the opportunity to share a piece of me with you and your audience. Right, man. Thank you for your time. It's been a pleasure, man. An honor to have you on. Good, man. Yeah, you know, you did a great job with the, the stories and stuff like that, man. Uh, looking forward to the, you know, the Ring of Honor. You know, it's well deserved. It's long overdue, but you, you're just due September 27th against the uh, Cowboys. Hope the Giants get a victory. That's very yep. important against yep. the Cowboys yep. uh, on, on, on behalf of your Ring of Honor. So thank you for your time, man. It's been a pleasure and honor. Thanks for coming on to the show. Thank you. Okay, brother. You too. Take All care. Right. All right. Take All care. Right. Right. That's All right. a good, good show.